What's up, everybody? This is Easy, Easy Street Gaming. And no, this is not Clash of Clans. I'm doing a different game today. First video I've made in like a year. Sorry for everyone that's subbed and I've been out for so long. Not a year, but all summer. I, I do AC work in the summertime and I've been busy and started a new game. Uh, I, I still do Clash, so hang in there. I actually just started playing again, took all the whole summer off. Um, but anyway, got a new game. I have a lot of people in my uh, in a pretty big clan. I've got a lot of people asking me the same thing. So I decided to make a few videos on the partners, how to get how to get your partners a six star. It's it's a part of the game that's difficult for people that are first starting to play. Um, I think I've got a pretty good method. Um, I've learned how to play from some very good players, and so I was pretty fortunate about that. So I'm just going to basically go over what I know, what I do, and it's by no means fact this is all my opinion but I think it's a pretty good way to go about doing it uh, you can get lucky and spin these turtles and get five stars and then you're well on your way to a six star but if you don't get lucky you're gonna have to build up another way the best way to do it is to take specific three stars and build them up um, I have five I have five different three star uh, partners or heroes you can call me the one that I consti consistently build up. I build them up, I build them up, I build them up. What I do is I take a three star, I, I make it into a level one four star, and then I repeat, and I make a three star into a level one four star, and repeat, three star, level one four star. I use the same f four or five partners, and I have just tons of these level one four stars. And then what I'll do is I'll take one of them and advance it all the way up to, uh, to, to max out at level four, and then I use the other ones to make it a level five. So that's the that's the brief of it. We're going to go into a little more detail in the video. Uh, I'm going to show you all of the heroes that I use. And if you're new to the game, these are the ones you want to focus on. I know the other ones may be tempting, but if you just trust me on this, uh, that the first one is is the red blonde. Now I would just want to show you right here. Don't necessarily go by the thumbs up. Now this is on the called the codex. If you click on the partner, the little partner uh, icon on the right hand side of your village, it will it will take you to your partner screen. Up in the upper right hand corner, there's a brown little book looking thing. You click on it and you get in here. This shows you all of the different partners that you can get. Um, all the ones that are in color are the ones that I've already that I have already. And if you click on the upper right hand corner where it's three star up top right now It will show you how far you can advance it in the game So this can go all the way to six star the red stars. That's the third level of awakening That's another thing you can do in the uh, on the altar stages so This is the second one that I would suggest getting the first one was the red blonde the second one is the blue berserker now You use the partners the heroes in three different areas. They can lead your armies. You're gonna fight other players and when you fight other players, you'll you'll have four heroes that are going to lead the way, and your heroes will fight their heroes. Depending on um, what, if you win or lose, uh, they can enhance your army and, and give you buffs and all. Uh, you also use them in the adventure stages, which is where you'll uh, get a lot of the heroes and where you'll upgrade them. They go up in level as they fight and gain experience. And then you, we also have the this other um, wandering warrior, where the computer puts out three different heroes and. The whole clan will get together and attack it. Yeah, it's a, it's another good good way to level. Uh, well, good way to get to to figure out how to use the teams together. Uh, we're gonna get into a lot of that more later. This is this video is basically just focusing on which heroes to use, how to get them into a position where you can get six stars. So that was the fourth one, third one. I can't, you know, I, I suck at this. So that was that was the third one. That was the blue boar. He's a tank. I'm going to get into the, the, the war patterns a little more. And this is not this this video is not on war patterns. I'm just mentioning all this stuff briefly. I will get I will make a video specifically on war patterns because I have everyone asking me about that all the time. Um, the fourth one is the green dragon man. He's a speedster. Speed is king in this game. Uh, I don't know how many other games are like this, but the, uh, speed beats hit points. Uh, there's a there's a player in our clan That has mastered this so much that he gets like 20 hits on me before I get the first hit because it, every one of his uh, Heroes are speedy and they just hit me over and over and over again. I never get a chance to even get a hit on them 
and when I finally do, I'm almost dead. So now the Green Dragon Man is key to that. His biggest attribute is that one of his abilities, one of his attacks is that he will speed up the whole team. Now if you notice, uh, it can as you go up in level and as you ad uh, advance your, your hero a little more, you can actually gain different abilities. In this case, the Dragon Man gains a leadership ability to where the entire party will, will go up like 25% in attack. So look out for stuff like that too. Uh, the fifth one is he's called the bear paws, the green bear paw. Now, what you'll do on uh, you want to do this on every one of your heroes that you're advancing. Read all of their special abilities, and you'll see here it says the the higher his max hit points are, the more damage he can do. So that tells you right there. Okay, the higher his hit points are, the more damage he does. So you want to give him war patterns uh, that in increases his hit points. In this case, the hippo is the hit point war pattern. Um, there's also uh, the whale war pattern that gives the whole team, I think, like eight percent. So you can use two of him. Uh, the the war patterns they uh, you either use two to get a, a bonus effect, or you use four to get a bonus effect. You, you, you can also find the war patterns on, st I think, the screen after this one, in in the hero uh, pages right there where you click on the hero on the right hand side. But we'll get into that a little more in a another video. So we have our five heroes. We have the red blonde. We have the blue berserker. We have the blue boar. We have the green dragon man. We have the green bear paw. Those are the five that I focus on. I try not to advance any of the other three stars except for those five and I'm constantly upgrading those five and you'll see here this is the screen after and this shows you where you can put all the armor on them or the war patterns um, you'll see all the ones that you see there uh, that shows you how many I've, st I've saved up you you gain war patterns when you're in adventure stages you'll gain them in the rallies uh, if you're just starting out try to get into as many rallies as you can because you it'll be very hard for you to get five star war patterns at first but you can get them when you're in a rally as the rewards for a rally um, now you'll notice what I'm doing here is I'm actually gonna delete not delete I'm sorry sell I sell everything that's not five star because I'm, I'm at the stage now where I can get enough five star war patterns where I don't use any three any four so because you are going to sell all that stuff off anyway you don't really want to advance your war patterns past level three unless they're five star and at the, i think towards the end of the video we'll get into it a little bit more so i'll just quit on that for now so just remember just you know side note war patterns that aren't level five don't advance them past level three i know it's tempting but just trust me on that you want to save the soul that you get that's what you advance them with it's hard to get it and you need it you need it badly once you get up to like level 12 or 13 on the war patterns from level 13 to 15 might take a million soul from what I heard so you you really need to save it up so don't don't waste it on something that you're just going to get rid of later now what I'm doing here is I'm advancing the boar as, as much as I can I haven't used them at all yet so I've just fed him some of the smaller heroes uh, the one and two star heroes I'll feed to the three stars and that will push their experience up that will push their their hit points their level up so I got him to level 14 before I even started but now before I did this I've already got several at level 25 level 25 is max for a three star so you, now you also notice that there's no war patterns on them um, I didn't I didn't go and put armor on them I didn't do anything I just I, I just basically uh, fed them a bunch of smaller heroes and then I ran them through adventure like five or six like for basically one whole adventure round and that got him up to level 25 and then we go over to the altar and once you're at once hold on okay I'm back my phone doesn't stop ringing even when I'm making a video I don't know why they keep doing that to me uh, so once you get five level three no once you get once you get five three stars to level 25 then you want to start making them into four stars and the way you'll do that is you will go to the middle screen uh, on the altar and you will click on the, the level 25 and then you have to give it three new three stars so basically you have to feed it three brand new three stars to, to upgrade it from level 25 three star to level one four star and you notice they lose all a bunch of hit points they lose a bunch of stats going down 
and that's that's how you get them to four stars. So you basically feed you, you'll you'll click on the level 25 first, and then you'll find three more. And if you see the same exact kind, so there's a berserker. And now I had another berserker that that's uh, three star. Every time that I feed him a berserker, his ability goes up one. So they have a all of the heroes have a numerous abilities, and they all can level up quite a bit. Which is why some of these three star heroes end up being so powerful. Because let's say the blue boar. By the time I get him to five star, I'll have all of his abilities maxed out. Let's say if I get a very powerful five star hero, well he won't have any of his abilities maxed out. He'll have I'll have to get more and more of that same exact hero to start maxing out his abilities. So that level three I mean I'm sorry, that three star boar, once you get him to, to level to five star I'm struggling people. <laughs> once you get him to five star, he'll actually be stronger than a lot of your natural five stars because he'll be maxed out in his abilities. Now I really should have done what I normally do and what I normally do is I will only use those five three stars and I'll advance them all to, lo to level one four star and then I'll advance one of them to level 34 star and once I do that then I will take the other four and feed it to them and you'll see that in, th in this case here I already had some stuff that was already level 30 so I didn't do that exactly the same way as I normally do in the video which is makes it a little more confusing sorry <laughs> So let's just say, for example, you have five red blondes. You've got you've got all five of them to level one four star. Then you take one of those red blondes, you get get her to level thirty four star. Once she's level thirty four star, then you can now now you see here this is the actual process. I have that one level thirty, then I have four level one four stars. And you go make sure you check their war patterns so you don't have war pat you know one of them that's full of war patterns. Now in in this case. I remembered that I had this the Dragon Man and I had something on him and um, those weren't five stars. I ended up just putting that that whale on him. But I go back and check all the all the war patterns. Make sure that uh, th that there's nothing on them because once you once you feed them to the other hero, they're all gone. And now he is a five star. So we so we basically took our three stars and worked one of them into a five star. So it takes five three stars to make all five into a four star then you advance one of them to maxed out four star and then you take the other four and feed them so it actually takes five three stars to make one five star so to make a six star you have to take you have to do that whole process again so five more three stars to make another five star then five more three stars to make another five star and you do that until you have six five stars are you following me so three three stars to make one five star no that's wrong sorry five three stars to make one five star five three stars to make one five star and it takes five of them to make a six star so that takes 25 heroes to make one six star and that's pretty incredible if you think about it it takes a long time to do this this is not a this is not a shortcut to get them by any means uh, matter of fact this is a uh, a process that takes a long time but most of the players that play this game you know and let me just backtrack when I played clash I thought there was no other game that people were so dedicated to until I saw this game and there's just as many players playing every single day working on all this stuff so I was just amazed at it now you have to get familiar with all of the different abilities it's hard to see right here but when you click on next to uh, the hero's head this little question mark and it shows you what hit point means what attack what defense what speed what it teaches you what all those different attributes mean every single one of these war patterns give you a different attribute and what you want to do and I mentioned this earlier but what you always want to do is you want to increase what your hero is already good at you don't want to fill in the blanks now you, you see here that it's said for the blue berserker that the higher his hit points were the more he heals your your blue berserker is a healer so I wanted to get his hit points as high as possible. So what I did is I used Hippo. Hippo is that it gives you hit points. I think it's like 15% for two Hippos. I used a bunch of those and got his hit points up as high as possible. So now he's a better healer. With the Blue Boar, he is a defensive hero. So I use all six blue uh, uh, Bull. Bull is the defensive war pattern. And you notice that his defense is really high already. So it just enhances defense even more. 
Uh, now the Dragon Man, he's a, he's a speed. I don't know what you call him. I call him speedsters, I guess. But I, you know, who the hell knows? With the Dragon Man, you want to make sure that his right hand, I don't know, right left hand. If, if, when you're looking at it, it's left hand. Um, has speed on it. That's the only attribute that will be a plus is the speed. The speed is always plus. Everything else on the top will be um, will, will be a percentage. So just remember that uh, all of your, uh, your for your left hand, your right hand, your head, you want to make sure your war patterns are all percentage on that. I believe for chest and your feet, it's going to be a plus no matter what. I think one of them is hit points, one of them is defense, one of them is attack. Uh, so you have to pay close attention to that. Make sure you have all five star war patterns. Make sure you have the percentage up top. Make sure your second, third, and fourth attributes are percentage if possible, and keep on building the same five three stars over and over again um, I'm gonna make another video the next video we're going to go a little more into the war patterns and we're going to go into probably the most important hero I think in the game that's easily accessible and that would be the green demon killer I'm reading as I'm going along you know I suck at this Jesus yeah the green demon killer you can get him on the baldy pond we're gonna go into that in the next video so hopefully this helps I know that I've typed this out like a thousand times, so th this will help me. I'm going to send a link to anyone that asked me about war patterns or asked me on how to get them something to six star instead of typing it out again because I can't type it with two fingers anyway. <laughs> so I hope you liked the video. I'm going to share this with everyone that I can. You do it too. I couldn't find any good Brutal Age videos at all, really. I couldn't find much online at all. So share the video, like the video. Appreciate everyone. Thank you. It's been easy. Take care.